Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. Mike here, and I wanted to talk to you about a little bit of casting news in the DC Universe. Chris Pine has officially been cast as Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman movie. So you've got Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, which is kind of a perfect match, I mean, in my opinion. In the comic book, Steve Trevor crash lands where Wonder Woman is at the time and ends up through their relationship being the government liaison for the Justice League even after they're broken up and all that stuff's over with. And he's not a superhero, you know, anything like that, but he's just the, he's, you know, kick-ass dude. You know, just a regular guy who's an FBI-type agent dude. Kind of like a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent for the DC Universe. That's kind of how I look at him, at least. You know, only he got to hook up with Wonder Woman, because he's a badass, and that makes you a badass. When you hook up with Wonder Woman, you become a badass, even if you weren't before. And Chris Pine has a great beard. What am I talking about? I didn't really want Chris Pine for Hal Jordan, but really I just want Hal Jordan. I, I think that Hal Jordan is such a great character, and I think Ryan Reynolds fits as Hal Jordan, even though that's not going to happen now. I don't think it was his fault that it didn't go well. I just want Hal Jordan and his smartassness to be in the comic book universe of movies. Looks like you could use a hand. Flash, my boy. Great to see you. Oh, yeah, and that's Batman. That man's real? Yeah, he's over there. I think he would work really well in that in that realm. I like John Stewart too, but Hal Jordan's my personal favorite just because of the smart assness. So now I don't know what they're gonna have. I know they're doing the Green Lantern Corpse movie, so there's gonna be several Green Lanterns, so they could I, I don't I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. But I guess what I really wanted to talk about is the fact that Tyrese uh, has been not shutting the fuck up about wanting to be Green Lantern. He keeps putting out all this concept art that fans make of him as Green Lantern. He's, he keeps putting out these blurbs, yeah, I met with DC. He's like, it's gonna happen, I got a surprise show coming up. He just keeps hinting at it, and it's just like, dude, it's getting kind of pathetic by now. He's basically begging for the freaking role, and he's saying, look at the price tags my movies make. And I'm like, that's exactly why you shouldn't be freaking John Stewart Green Lantern, dude. It's because you don't know shit. Okay, Transformers, Fast and Furious, yeah, sure, those movies, even though a lot of them sucked, made a shitload of money. Not because of you! I always thought he was an annoying-ass actor anyways, and his roles always get on my nerves in every movie he's in. It's just like, in Transformers, dude, all he did was run around stating the obvious in a tough voice, like, This shit's crazy! You know? Or, or just like, run around looking up like, No, I'm not doing that! Fast and Furious, you're just a goofball character that everybody makes fun of because you're a giant bitch. You can't be Jon Stewart. That, I think he would be the worst. The worst. Stop begging for the role in the public. I think that's the worst freaking idea I've ever heard in my life. Comment below, let me know what you guys think about that. Who would you guys like to see play either Jon Stewart or Hal Jordan? You know, if they go Jon Stewart, they go Jon Stewart. That's cool. They could get a good actor to do that, and that could be really cool. But it's not freaking Tyrese. We will see you next time. You can get our Instagram, our Facebook, our Twitter, all that shit in the description box below. Let me know how you guys are doing, and uh, click that subscribe button. Get some whale up in you. We watched a movie, yeah, we watched a movie.